welcome to Storytime with Deschutes Public Library. My name is Josie and today we're going to talk about vegetables, yummy, yummy vegetables. So we're going to start with an opening song. If you know the words, sing along. If you don't know the words, that's a-okay. You can just do some of the motions or listen. Here we go. Storytime is here. Give a great big cheer. Yay! Now quietly listen and see. The story time is here. Yay! Wonderful job, everyone. We are going to read a book called Little P today. And Little P, I'm going to show on the screen, and I'm going to be really little up in the corner there. So, this is Little P by Amy Krauss Rosenthal, and today we are reading it for Mission from Chronicle Books. Before I do a story, I like everyone to put their Hands out in front of them, nice strong hands. Here we go. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice, we're all ready to go. Little P. This is the story of Little P, Mama P, and Papa P. Little P was a happy little guy. He liked to do a lot of things. He liked rolling down hills, for example, super fast. He liked hanging out with his pea pals. He liked it when Papa P came home at the end of the day. Papa P would fling Little P off a spoon high into the air and Little P would scream, again, again. At bedtime, Little P liked very much snuggling with Mama P and hearing stories about what Mama P was like when she was a Little P. But there was one thing that Little P did not like, candy. That's what you have to eat for dinner every night when you're a P. Candy, candy, candy. Monday, red candy. Tuesday, orange candy, Wednesday, yellow candy, Thursday, purple and pink polka dotted candy, Friday, striped candy, Saturday, swirl candy, Sunday, rainbow candy. Little P hated all of it. If you want to grow up to be a big strong P, you have to eat your candy. Papa P would say. If you don't finish your candy, then you can't have dessert, Mama P would say. How many pieces do I have to eat? Five pieces and you can have dessert. Five pieces, he whined. Five pieces, they chimed. One, yuck. Two, blech. Three, blech. Four, bleh, five pieces of candy. Now can I have dessert? Yes, now you can have dessert, said Mama P and Papa P. Little P couldn't wait to see what it was. Spinach, squealed Little P, my favorite. Little P licked his dessert plate clean. It says, figure one, yum. Figure two, yum. Figure three, extra yum. And they lived happily ever after. More spinach, please. And there you go. That is the story of Little P. Now, I wanted to share a quick poem with you guys. This is a guessing game and a guessing game poem all at once. So I have some vegetables here. So everything I have is a vegetable. I'm gonna give you some hints and you get to guess what I'm going to show you. So if there's any grown-ups, just go ahead and give yourself maybe the count of six or seven before you help with the guesses so that we have time to think about what the clues are. So this is the guess the veggie rhyme. I'm round and red and juicy too. Chop me for a salad or dump me in a stew. What do you think it is? What's a nice red round vegetable? I'll give you another hint. Can you see? It's got a green stem and it's nice and red. Can you guess what this one is? 
It's a tomato. This is a yummy, yummy tomato. Oh, I love tomatoes. They're so delicious. If you have bigger kids in the house, feel free to talk about if it's a tomato, if a tomato is a vegetable or a fruit. Added bonus. Okay, let's see what's next. Chop me, slice me, but keep a tissue near. I'm sometimes juicy and can bring a tear. <laughs> Mm, what vegetable can make you cry? Does anyone know? It's another round one. Ooh, what is this one? Can you guess? It's an onion. An onion's a root, and sometimes onions can be purple or white. There's all different colors of onions. Mm, I love onions, but just a little bit, not a whole bunch of onion. Okay, what's next? I have eyes for perfection to give you the best. Baked, mashed, or fried, I'll pass the test. Hmm, what vegetable do you like to eat? Baked, mashed, or fried? Hmm, let me go ahead and show you. Can you guess what this one is? Hmm, see there's an eye. What do you think this is? It's a potato, and this one's called a red potato. It's kind of a reddish brown. It's not as red as our tomato red, but it's called a red potato. Potatoes can be red or even purple. So there's a lot of different colors of potato. Oh, that's a potato. I like a mashed. I'm not sure. Do you like a mashed? Maybe? Okay. One more. My friends call me trees. Now that's a funny name. I'm dark green with stalks just the same. Mm, do you know a vegetable that looks like a tree and is green and has a stalk? Let's see if we can pull this one out. Mm. So this is the stalk. This is a leaf. This is the top. Kind of looks like a tree. Anyone know what this one's called? Broccoli! Yeah, this is broccoli. Oh, broccoli is delicious. I love it in soup or in a stir fry. So let's go back. Let's see what we had. We had a red tomato. Our potato was called red too, even though it's kind of a darker red. We had an onion and we had broccoli. Oh, we had four great vegetables, all very yummy and delicious. Okay, friends, <clears throat> I had a really good time with you today. I hope you enjoyed the book, which is available through the library uh, via Hoopla if you want to read it at home. I hope you enjoyed our quick little guessing game there. It's super fun to guess those words. And now we're going to do our closing song. It's a version of If You're Happy and You Know It. If you'd like to stand up and dance during this, that's great. And when we do the hoorays, if you'd like to jump, that's a wonderful gross motor skill practice. So you can go ahead and try that if you want. I'm going to stay seated so you can see me. And we're going to do If You're Happy and You Know It. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap. Clap. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. Pat, pat. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Ooh, all three. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! Oh, so much fun! 
Okay, friends, I had a great time with you today. I hope you had fun too, and we'll look forward to seeing you another time. So, goodbye. Mm -hmm.